down, we would like for you now to meet the new addition to our little family, a young lady we're very proud of from New Jersey, Gia Mayon. Somewhere there's music, how near, how far. Gia Mayon Prima was an accomplished musician, singer, artist, composer, philanthropist, and patron of the fine arts. We are here today to celebrate her passion for providing music education and outreach initiatives which are geared towards mentoring and inspiring our young people. Gia Mayone was born on May 20, 1941, in Roebling, New Jersey, and raised in Tom's River. Her parents owned the Red Top in Seaside Heights, she worked at Maracas Pizza on the boardwalk, and graduated in 1959 from Tom's River High School South. She was a true Jersey Shore gal. From an early age, Gia demonstrated an interest and aptitude for music, but her star began to shine in May of 1962 when she was selected to be the lead female vocalist for Louis Prima and the Witnesses. Tomorrow would have been her 75th birthday, and we are here to celebrate her life and her passion for providing music education and outreach initiatives which are geared towards mentoring and inspiring our young people. Louis Prima is a giant of American music both figuratively and literally. A colossal trumpeter, singer, band leader, songwriter, and master comedian, his work transcended the boundaries of jazz, pop, and world music. He reigned supreme in nearly every performance medium, from nightclubs and casinos to concert halls and virtually every theater in the United States, from 78 RPM singles to long playing albums, from small groups that reflected his New Orleans origins, to big bands in the swing era. From movies to radio to television, from Dixieland to swing to blues to traditional Italian songs and even rock and roll. He was perhaps the most versatile musician of the American century and a true headliner for over eight decades. He was known for his exuberant, extroverted performing style that profoundly influenced a wide range of entertainers, including his friends Frank Sinatra and Tony Bennett to latter-day stars of MTV. He was beloved by everyone, from his Italian-American paisano to everyone else, and especially by African-Americans. He was even received at the White House by President and Mrs. Roosevelt. In every sense of the word, Louis Prima was a star. His name alone commanded top billing for some 47 years. From the time he was 18 years old and already the leader of his own band, Louis set a standard of showmanship that has seldom been equaled and never surpassed. He was that rarest of performers who were able to make a seamless transition from one generation to the next. His music transcends the decades and is just as refreshing today as the day he first played it. He continues to receive the highest compliment that show business can pay, imitation. Louis Prima's style is more than an exciting entertainment spectacle, it is a goal to which performers will always aspire. And if you still think you don't know who Louis Prima is, you need to look no further than Walt Disney's award-winning animated classic, The Jungle Book. In 1966, Louis was approached by Walt Disney himself to voice the character King Louis in the Oscar-nominated film. The orangutan and the prima song, I Wanna Be Like You, are an indelible part of all of our childhoods. Gia Mayone's rich, expressive voice was an ideal match for Louis's rugged jazz chops. The pair performed together and recorded together for 13 years, setting attendance records in Las Vegas at the Sahara Hotel, Sands Hotel and Tropicana Hotel, in New York at the Copacabana and Basin Street East, and across the country. They appeared regularly on television on such shows as Ed Sullivan, Johnny Carson, Bob Hope, Dean Martin, Mike Douglas, and Merv Griffin. They recorded 14 albums and numerous singles for Capitol Records, Disney Records, Delight Label, Brunswick Records, and Prima Magna Groove, a record label created by Gia and Louie in 1963. On February 12th of that year, Gia and Louie were married. Their union produced two children, Lena and Louie Jr. The couple entertained the world until 1975 when Louis Prima fell ill.
Louis Prima died on August 24, 1978, but his legend and his music live on, thanks in no small part to the efforts of his widow, Gia. After Louis' passing, she assumed control of the Prima archives and managed his vast musical legacy. She dedicated herself to remastering and re-releasing Prima's recordings. Gia handled the licensing of Prima's work for television, film, and advertising, such as the very memorable use of Jump, Jive, and Whale for the Gap Khaki Swing Ad, an iconic TV commercial in the late 1990s. In 2011, the Gia My Own Prima Foundation was established with the assistance of longtime friend and counsel Anthony J. Sylvester of Sherman, Wells, Sylvester, and Stammelman, LLP. The foundation makes donations that support and encourage an appreciation for American jazz, popular music and jazz performance, as well as the fine arts. Gia and Tony also created the Louis Prima ASCAP Foundation, given every year to a student at the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. Gia My Own Prima passed away on September 23, 2013, but through the dedication and continued support of Anthony Sylvester, Gia's foundation continues to support the vision of both Louis and Gia Prima. The Gia My Own Prima Foundation has collaborated with Tulane University, the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival and Foundation, Trombone Shorty Foundation, Jazz Kids Music Education Program in New Orleans, Ronnie Cole's annual Jazz on the Bayou Celebration, New Orleans Academy of Fine Art, and the Count Basie Theater in New Jersey. Well, in a way,